In this video, you'll see how you can use the Outline Designer module uh, entirely with your keyboard to create outlines. So this functionality is provided by a project called Jawerty. Uh, if you read down through the notes, you can see if you have libraries, API installed, and Jawerty, you can activate these. Uh, so you're going to need the RC1 and higher of Outline Designer. Uh, this is seven only in order to do this. So what Jawerty is, is it's a JavaScript library that basically allows you to write jawerty.key and then you put in a combination of keys that would be pressed and you call a function. Very simplistic, um, but very effective. So you'll see even on their website, if I want to download this package, I can do control alt and then Z and it'll actually run a JavaScript function which then downloads the thing. So pretty neat. Uh, Let's see how this looks in the outline designer. So you see I have my on-screen keyboard just so you get a sense of what it is I'm pushing to do these things. Uh, so I'm going to go to books and then edit order and titles and I have my outline designer interface. Um, first thing you'll notice with, and this is true of uh, RC1 and above, is whenever you hover over things uh, in the outline it'll actually kind of partially highlight them so you get a better sense of what it is you're about to click on, uh, especially when you have big outlines. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just click this. And you'll see it keeps this solid. So this is now the active item that I'll be working with. Uh, now let's say I want to add content below this. All of the modifiers, um, with the exception of up and down, are shift control. So if I do shift control and then A, I can add content. If I do shift and down, it will go to the next item below whatever's active. So I can do shift and up to move up, shift down to move down. Uh, so I can do shift up, we'll do another page. And then I can just do it again from here because it's still keeping the same page active. Um, and so that way you can build out an outline very quickly this way. Um, new item. So it's very good for rapid prototyping. We use it for um, course outlines. Um, some other commands you have, uh, let's say I misspelled something, which I always do. So I can do control shift R to rename the item. And then I could navigate to this one and do control shift R again. So you can see this is, it's pretty quick the way you can bounce around. Um, you might have noticed this reordered. Uh, that's because Drupal's default behavior is when you have a series of items and you haven't gone and drag and drop them around, um, it will just do it based on name. So, you know, again, moves to the top. Um, some other shortcuts you have if you dig into contrib a bit with the module um, is if I do control shift H, that it provides hidden nodes integration. Now, it's not a you know great shortcut because at the moment I still need to click these buttons, but so that's a shortcut for hidden nodes to be popped up. Um, I'll go down to this item, or actually, sorry, this another page here. Uh, if you use book copy, you can do control shift D for duplicate. Here's a dupe, right? So I've got my duplication function. And this is where I really think the, the project will be powerful for some of the things we do, is that um, a lot of times we will build an outline, and so this highest level outline container would be, you know, say week one. Um, let's unhide this. And then we're going to call this one introduction. So, you know, you have a normal lesson outline in here. And so what we do then is, okay, I got this week of instructions. Good. Control shift D. We'll call it week two. And then control shift D, we'll call it week three. And control shift D, call it week four. And so I can very quickly stamp these out. Um, some other commands you have, if you do control shift plus, uh, that is a shortcut for the scale button. It only does scale up because it's, you know, it's easy enough to reset these. Um, and then there's also shortcuts for the open and close. So those are control shift and then semicolon. We'll close everything and control shift and uh, double quote will open everything. So that's the, the bulk of the commands. Very easy to add new ones. Um, another command is uh, Control Shift F will always return you to the first item in the list. So uh, it's possible, you know, if you're working with the outline and let's say I 
close it. I, I don't know where I am right now. Uh, you can always do control shift F and that'll bounce you back up to the top so then I can do a, a full open. Um, something else that's enabled, if I do shift down, it knows to automatically open these containers so that I can descend down into them. Um, little things like that I've been working on as far as usability. Uh, but that's in a nutshell what Jewelry provides the outline designer and so I suggest checking it out because it makes it a lot faster to build outlines uh, with the keyboard only.